the movie though. Oh, here we go. Hey, we hold this for a second. Or you can do the camera if you want. Hmm? Do the camera. I'm good. I can do the camera. I talked to you about to do the camera. That's why. My brother is in jail. That's why I watch South Park. Yeah, for real. Well, he had to go do that three day thing for that. So he gonna be like he be, he's gone for the weekend. <laughs> What's up, homie? My brother's been hanging out here since I've worked at Eddie's. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, we've been out here for a minute. Now, man, always get booted out. <laughs> hey, that's hey, hey, that's how you know we're doing the right job, the, 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 say, the right uh, thing. What are you doing wrong? You're doing wrong? Other than speaking. Oh, shit. I'm not religious myself. Yeah. You ain't religious. Religion, that's a, that's bondage. You know what I mean? Whether I served in Iraq, Bosnia. Oh, fuck. Saudi Arabia. You probably see some crazy shit, huh? I couldn't, yeah, I couldn't imagine. I was in the military. I was in the Marines, but I didn't have to go fight somebody. Thank God. <laughs> Who said the market of beast? Yeah, that's what's coming, man. <laughs> it's nine nine nine. No, it's you know that. Well, nine 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 is six six six. It is six 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 though. When you read the scriptures, it's definitely six six six. I think the scriptures did it to. Uh, <laughs> Apparently. You did that nine nine nine. Herman I don't, Cain. I don't remember where I read it. Oh yes, nine nine nine. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
That's what these goddamn fools want to do. Yeah, because people, they see that word herb in the Bible, they, that's not talking about weed. and said this is red letters but he answered and said I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel what does that mean King James we can get any version you want I mean go ahead I'm not used to King James so I don't recognize it yeah the King James is more majestic than the other Bible it is less understandable less understandable well, some of these newer Bibles are uh, are real perverted. I would say some of them have gone a little far. Yeah. So let me read it. Uh, but he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. All modern Bibles say, uh, I'm only sent to the house of Israel. That's what the modern Bibles say. You don't believe they're synonymous. What do you mean? No, the, uh, the real Christian is an Israelite. Because the word Christ means to anoint. The only people the Lord ever anointed was Israel. So, how does that relate to the U.S. government and... We're out here pushing the truth. You gotta, you gotta teach the truth, because why... Why is the government blowing people up? Why are they killing people? So you're speaking against the government? Well, yeah, all governments are bad. God instituted government, though. God instituted but you're right. Israel, so. He created the devil to punish us. Yeah, I got a scripture for you. Uh, I'll prove it. Uh, I'll show you why. You're right. God did give the devil power. Yeah. Of course, you got to have some type of law and order. Right. For the people to be, you know. Because uh, uh, if there's no government, there'd be chaos in the street. Exactly. But the government doesn't mean the government of the United States. Right. The government's of this world. Because these governments, they come up with their own laws. How many laws are in the books right now, as far as the United States of America? How many laws right now are in the books? Millions upon millions. All, and all of them are against the Bible, the laws of the Bible. Every last one of them. Like the Ten Commandments say, uh, thou shalt not commit adultery. Adultery is legal in America. That's one of the Ten Commandments. You can have as many divorces as you want. A woman can have uh, ten babies' daddies to get child support from each and every one of them. When the Bible says she's supposed to get stoned with stones. It's not exaggerated. Because I've seen it happen. I've seen women. I've got this girl from Florida. She has 10 baby dads. Where do you get the... So do you suggest that we go back to Old Testament laws? There's a lot of bullshit faggotry going on out this fucking world. That's right. That's right. That's the spirit, bro. That's the spirit, bro. 
That's my homie. He was out here last week. Go ahead. Are you suggesting that we go back to the Testament law? No. We're not going to do it. We're going to leave. First of all, because there is forgiveness too. We gotta teach the gospel. All right, we got we gotta tell these all these hoes out here. Cause you know the, the Lord calls these women bitches and hoes. Tell right. me what is the gospel? Look, listen to me. I'm gonna tell you. Okay. Because we're supposed to tell these hoes to stop being bitches and hoes. Okay. Because the they just we're gonna tell them that you deserve death and you need to repent. What is the gospel? It's Here's the truth. The gospel. The gospel means the good news. This is Leviticus 22. And the man that committeth adultery with another man's wife, even he that committeth adultery with his neighbor's wife, the adulterer and the adulteress shall surely be put to death. So that's the punishment of death. So the Lord came us, came to forgive us of our sins. What's the sin? You know what a sin is? What is a sin? What's God's law? God's law, currently, would be... The Torah. You know what the Torah is? Yeah, committing adultery, that's a sin. And then James says, um, if someone knows the right thing to do and doesn't do it, then that is sin. But yeah, but it, actually, a, a, a sin... It's when you break one of the laws that's in the book of Deuteronomy, the book of Leviticus. Well, the whole Old Testament, the whole Bible. Those are all laws. Those are, those are ordinances. Okay. This is Deuteronomy 22 and 22. If a man be found lying with a woman married to a husband, then they shall both of them die. Both the man that lay with the woman and the woman, and the woman so shall thou be put away evil from Israel. Yeah, because that's evil. There's nothing worse. That's one of the worst possible sins. Is adultery. That's on. That's up there with murder. Okay. Why is that? Why is that so important? It's very that's important. It's, it's important. Because in America, the government is all about these days destroying the family. Mm -hmm. That's why homosexuals is legal. It's legal to be a homo. Okay, homosexuals can get married. Do you, do you want the government to institute God's laws? They're not going to. They're never going to do that. Never. It ain't going to happen. No, no, no. Personally, I want to. Uh, we, want to we, want to, we want this whole thing to be destroyed. Be destroyed. All of them. All of them. All, of them. all of them. all these. They all going to be destroyed. All of them. And they're going to be destroyed. Anyway. I mean, come on. Yeah. So the investigation is good. At, it's, this is a nation of hypocrites. It's good. At, it's got, it, it talks a good game. Oh, brother, priest, love, love one another. I got, I got a law for you. The Bible says that you're not supposed to charge your brother usury. Hmm. You know what usury is? What's usury? It's huh? an excessive amount of interest. It's interest, right? Well, any interest at all. You know, I disagree. Okay, well, okay. Well, however you want to look at it, America is ran on usury. You can't even get your check cash without going to a bank, and all yeah. these banks operate on usury. But the Israelites could charge. They could charge interest, but to they, other nations. No, but they. But Israelite. we're all brothers, though. Right. We're all brothers and sisters, right? But the banks don't know whether they're Christian or not. Who, who owns all the banks? The so-called Jew. The Edomites. The Edomites. The fake. They're not real Jews. They're the devils. Isn't Esau? Do you think anyone who owns a bank is not an Israelite? Well, no, no, no. no, no. I, know, I don't. We don't see that anymore. We used to. Yeah, but they, as far as I'm concerned, they used, they, to be, they used to be black banks. That's right. That's right. We went over it before. Yeah. Nice video, man, too. They all got burnt to the ground mm -hmm. and nuked, pretty much. I'm Firebomb. For dinner, so I go to Adios. What's up, little man? What's up, though? Cody, man. Fifteen. Oh, you're a man. You're a grown man. Yeah. He's a grown man. You know yeah. you're a man at twelve. Yeah. Right? Yeah. A man at twelve. So when you turn 12, that's when your father's supposed to start teaching you family shit. Yep. Anything manly. You know? Yeah. I'm sure you like looking at pussy and everything now. <laughs> you ain't no fire guard. No, I'm not. not. That's, that's, right. Right. that's right. The Bible said we're going to kill fags when the time comes. Yeah. We're going to yeah. kill fags and less when the time comes. The Lord going to give you spiritual power. You know? You ain't going to have to worry about no bullet going to pierce you. With some man or some un a bunch of men jumping. You have spiritual power. We're going to slaughter these fools. Anyway, what was he doing? Oh, yeah, Spirit of Wild. Oh, yeah. I got it right here. This is one of them. I'm going to find that other one. Too. 
It goes to my school. Oh, for real? Y'all yeah, know what the word, uh, you know what a football fan is? No. You know what the word fan means? The word fan comes from a Latin word, fanus. It means temple. So football, the word uh, football fan, the word fan comes from, net, from the word fanatic, which comes from the word fanus, which means temple. And that's talking about the temple of Satan, the temple of Zeus. Because you see a... Uh, you know, football is the modern day uh, gladiator sport. Back in the ancient Roman pagan empire, they had the gladiatorial games, right? Mm -hmm. Up in the arena. That's why when you see a Super Bowl, say a Super Bowl 30, everything's all written in no Roman numerals, right? Mm -hmm. So Super Bowl 30 be XXX. Those are Roman numerals. Why they use a Roman numeral? That goes back to the Roman empire. So, I, I was telling you about how the word fan come from the Latin word fanus, which means temple. It's all, it's all paganism. That's why uh, football is kind of gay, too. And when they get in the line of scrimmage, everybody bends over with their ass up in the air wearing some tight-ass pants. And then the quarterback sticking his hand between the center's butthole. Yeah, they smacking each other on the ass all the time. Don't get me wrong, it's cool. But at the same time, right now, it ain't nothing like it was like in the 70s. Oh, the, no. game, the game of football is nothing like it was in the 60s and 70s. Hey, it's uh, nothing like it. Originally, there was no pass interference. Right. You can knock a motherfucker out before you even got the ball. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Used to. Or when it was used to. I don't think it was no pass interference. There wasn't none of that shit. The quarterback, the quarterback, the quarterback, the there wasn't no. The last 30 years now, man. There wasn't no instant replay. A fumble was a fumble. Sunday, and, no, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and Sunday. Oh. Remember, they extended to Thursday, Fridays now. I got another good point, too. What oh, that, Mondays. Oh, but, Monday but, but what's the main day for the NFL? Uh, Sunday. Sunday, the day of the sun. That's what it means. Back in the ancient Rome, they worshiped the sun on Sunday, Sol Invictus, the unconquered sun. That goes back to the fanatic, the, the temple of the sun, Apollo. You know what I mean? They worship Apollo, they worship Zeus. Is it, is it a sin to worship your birthday? I mean, celebrate your birthday? That's just, yeah. that's just a day that you keep on record so you know how old you are. The only record... You ain't supposed to be having no birthday cake. The birthday cake and lining of the candles and making a wish. Who the hell are you making that wish to? <laughs> we don't make, we don't wish. We, we pray to the most high. You know what I'm saying? You can, you can read about that in Job. So the birthday, oh, Joe, Joe, Joe's his birthday. The birthday cake goes back to the Queen of Heaven. The baking of the cakes and lighting the candles to the Queen of Heaven. That's what that represents. So you're making that wish to the Queen of Heaven, which is uh, Satan's wife. <laughs> this is 1 Corinthians 13 and 11. When I was a child, I spake as a child, I understood as a child. Yeah, like, keep going. Um, Break it down. I thought as a child, but when I became a man, I put away childish things. Because football is what? It's a game. Games are for little kids. You know what I'm saying? You know, get out, get out the house and go play. And you throw that ball out there with you. And that child is playing around that yard chasing the ball around. Or throwing it at each other. You right. It's a childish thing. Because here it is, World War III is about to break out. Russia's over there fighting Ukraine. You, you got I ISIS, the terrorists, chopping motherfuckers' heads off. <laughs> I mean, you got all kind of wild yeah. shit breaking out in the world, and you got people, they don't even know what's going on. They're too busy watching grown men chase a ball around. <laughs> grown men. And all they're doing is just throwing a ball around. Yeah. And they get bugged out over that. You know what I'm saying? You know what? These motherfuckers start to hate each and get violent with each other if your team wins and, you, you know, two teams lose. If you, if you talk, if you come out here and say that you, uh, the Michigan's the greatest team, somebody will want to fight you. 
over a goddamn game. That's good. Oh, yeah. But they, they won't fight somebody if they come and take their freedoms away. You know what I mean? Yep, yep, mm -hmm. yep, yep. They, they won't go fight that judge down in the courthouse for oppressing you and stealing all your money. They won't do that. Never now once. But they shoot your ass over some football. And hey, them motherfucking Latinos down in South America, they'd kill your ass over soccer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they would kill you. There have been instances when a goalie didn't stop the ball or something. They ran on the field. No, they'd kill you. If you, if you uh, uh, foot, they call soccer football. But down there, they take their football serious. The motherfucking goalies and soccer players are being killed for losing the game. They've exactly. been assassinated. Like you said, they actually rushed onto the field. Yeah. Killed players. Okay. Over there in Europe, they bugged out too with that, man. That's yep. that yeah. Football. 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 Get that cut. Baseball. They rushed the field. Yeah. That's it's crazy. Thousands. Mm -hmm. yep, yep. And while they rushing people, they're stampeding each other, killing each other. Yep. Yep. You know? Yeah, that's good. I mean, stampede, a stampede of people, man. <laughs> that's some foolish shit, man. Now imagine when chaos jump off in America, when you, that, that's a stampede for your ass, man. Yeah. It's, it's gonna be a stampede for your but ass. Really though, sports, that's a form of mind control. Mm -hmm. Just like the ancient Roman Empire, they always had the gladiatory yeah. games to take people's minds off issues that actually matter. They tell you that in that movie Gladiator, about how uh, Commodus, how the senator said, well, Commodus knows what the, he just yeah. he gave him free free bread and a free game. Because yeah. it's free to watch football on TV. That was real shit, man. There you go. That actually happened. It was a little bit more intense than that. They was killing motherfuckers back then. That was a whole bunch of shit. Yeah, like your boy. Interesting word now. Oh, like your boy, uh, Maximus. Are you not entertained? Yeah. That's what I was thinking. I don't know. Chain, intertwine, maybe. Yeah. You know how they. What's up? Like, no. What's up? No. Grippo's got MSG in it. All right, sorry. Okay, y'all. Okay. Oh, check it out. The word entertain comes from a Latin, two Latin words. Enter. Plus tenere, and tenere means to hold. Oh, oh, oh. Like what I'm saying, to hold you is like they, they tame, catch, tame. To catch you, yeah, to tame you, to hold you, to, uh, to wow. put chains on your mind. Intertwine, intertwine. Inter yeah, that's right, intertwine. Yeah, that's a good one. Twine, to, yeah, that's, yeah. Oh, that's deep. So that's why it's good to look up words. Oh, shit. What's up, man? What's up? Same. Oh, damn. <laughs> I love the demon scriptures that people possess, man. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, Bar Jesus. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. That man. Demon is my type of girl. You bro. Out of nowhere. Like, you Hey, never the truth coming out, man. Yeah. Now, he looked like one of them uh, bitches off of. Uh, <laughs> What's that? Yeah, we're yeah, we're yeah. uh. You got a thing a hobby. <laughs> man, I can't even think straight since I seen that. What's some What's some bitches that they all share the eye on that? Oh yeah, oh, the class of Titans. Class of Titans. Yeah, yeah. They, where how Perseus went in there and he had to get the eye from him, yeah. or he had to get it. Get off of this little creepy. Yeah, little creepy ass looking. That's the funny thing, yo. That motherfucker probably got powers, yo. Magic powers. You gotta come out here and ask some good things, man. I can't even not want to come do this for her. Oh my god. Bunch of women took off running. I'm actually black on the means to hold your ass captive. <laughs>
That's, that's, that's what it does. Watching TV is a form of mental slavery. It's like to, uh, telephone, me, uh, a television program. Yeah, you get pro, it. they program you. Yeah. You watch a program on TV. They program your ass. Yeah. It must, it must sound like it when you actually listen to the word television program. Mm. That's crazy. They're telling you visually, <laughs> visually, they're programming you. <laughs> That's what they're doing. That's right. Well, when I was a child, I speak as a child, I understood as a child, I yeah. thought as a child. Yeah, because now most grown men, they don't do nothing but play video games. You know, most video games these days are made for adults. Yeah, yeah. They're all adult games. They're all M-rated. Uh, yeah. you know, all the popular games. You name a popular yeah. game: that Grand game Theft Auto. Uh, all the all these new games are all made for adults. The only people making children's games Nintendo. And that's the shit I'd rather play. Some Nintendo. Fuck that yeah. other killing and chopping people yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. Blood squirting everywhere and shit. All kind of like Grand Theft Auto. That's really an abomination. Even though it got some fun. Gameplay mechanics. That game's all about adultery. It's all about blaspheming the Lord. Oh, yeah, You're yeah, playing the game, it's all about yeah. adultery and shit. Oh, yeah. Killing fools. Great, great America. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's, all, it's America in a video game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it ain't exactly. It's sex over there. Because even though that should be fun to play, you run around. Oh, you're stealing shit. It's called Grand Theft Auto. The Ten Commandments said, Thou shalt not steal. Yeah. But the most popular game, that's the best seller, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah the first week they got like uh, 50 million or something. Damn, what? Yeah. Cool. Y'all know the best selling video game of all time. You know the, what was that? Goddamn Muslims everywhere. Who? Who you talking about? That's the real one right there. Shit. You know what the best selling game of she, all time is? She like a, she a Iraq. <laughs> she got Iraq. Yeah, Iraq. Yeah, Iraq. Should've known, should've known, should've known, should've known, because I saw that on hey, the <laughs> a few months ago. They had them in Texas. He is a faggot. They got Texas. They got phones. Every guy used to buy the old two cell phones. Those were the first video games I played. That was one of them. I like the music on the old Nintendo. I like the music on the old Nintendo. <laughs> you boy on rollerblades. I ain't seen nobody doing rollerblades yeah, in a minute. Shit. I forgot to do it. I didn't know they stood in there. Hey, sweet. No, I think I'm talking about the first thing you're doing. I can't even talk about Oh, yeah, but we're going back to the game, so. uh will get broke. Yeah, cause I, I, it's, all, it's a childish thing to be playing games all day. You're supposed to be studying, you know what I mean? Doing manly shit. That's what's disciplining these kids anyway these days. It could be more manly. Mom and dad is too busy getting at the drunk. You yeah, know, the they Geek down. And they're so super giving fuck about the kids. If they put the kids right in front of the TV, play them games, and go and go. That's the best part. That's right. That's right. They can care less. Here it is right this up. Proverbs 11, no, 13 and uh, 24. He that spared his rod hated his son. Yeah, so. So they try to make a big deal out of that Adrian Peterson thing because he whooped his kid. Man, my mom hit me with a frying pan. She hit me with all kind of shit. I got my ass whooped with extension cords. Extension, yeah, extension cords. Switches. Uh, uh, my dad hit me one time with a weight ball. Really? That should have made you tough. I got to eat. You know what I mean? It wasn't no child, uh, 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 what you call it, uh, child, uh, child protection abuse. Agency. There was no such thing. Child protection no, 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 no. agency. There was my no dad would have shot the motherfucker that came to our door. Yeah, that's, you deserve to get shot. Damn right. When you interfere in another man's family, you deserve to get shot. That's right. Right in your fucking head. Call 911 real quick and those devils come knocking on your door. They gonna take yeah, your kids go away. Yeah, yeah. And then when they take your kids away, then they, they take them to CPS. And there's all kind of reports about kids getting raped up to CPS. They going to foster care, they all getting raped. Well, what shit happens, right? Yeah, they, get, they getting fucked in the asshole, getting raped. Mm -hmm. That's some some actually turn them kids into fucking rats. Yeah, yeah. They 
Russia is there. Russia is saying they ain't found it. I got a rhyme. Ain't adopted. American couples are no longer allowed to adopt Russian children. Because all the Americans are ch uh, that adopt children are all pedophiles. And they're raping them children. Damn right. Or the children that come up just totally missing. Yep. They, oh, they yeah. kill them. You know what I mean? They, yeah. they, they, they eat them. Yep. Yep. They cook them. Yeah, I think there's a lot of heavy you see there. There's a lot. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They say it never ends, does it? Man, it's, it's never this, ending. This more than what? And I, in the 90s, I had to check them out with the kids on the 90s. got bunny shades. They're trying to, these devils in their religious culture and shit, man, they see what's going on. And they trying to get them some more power from Satan, man. <laughs> so they sacrifice them. It's a lot more than this shit going on, man. It's like a Bohemian grove. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 When I read the statistics, I read a, 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 report, a government report account. It just fluctuates from 1,500 to 3,500. <laughs> And that's a that's some big fluctuation, you know. It depends on what time of year more kids is getting snatched up. But every day in the United States, man, every day, every day, man. A lot over there, like in the is that Miss like counties in Arizona, Utah, a lot of the northern kingdom uh, Israelites is getting caught up. Yeah, yeah. It's a car, Ephraim, and all them. Even right, a few right. gas, they just snatching them up. Sacrificing this shit, just right, right up there in the league. Yeah, that's crazy. Man. You know, it's a car doing that time of year. Man. The day of the dead, the week of the dead, or something. You know, they do something. They, they, they answer that Santeria. So, yeah, yeah. They, they worship the day of the dead. They worship the Santa de Muerte, the angel, the saint of death. You know, something going on. Because, uh, your boy, uh, uh, Bill Gibson, when he was apocalyptic, he kind of exposed them back in charge. Yeah, they did. Oh man. It was famous for sacrificing so, yeah. mm -hmm. Eating the heart and shit. Oh that's crazy. And that's something that's crazy. That's what that's something like Hamite does. Killer in the cut around eating like that. Canaanite. That's what the Canaanites were famous for. I got a scripture for that. She probably fucking sucking the horse yeah, dick, drinking yeah. a horse nut. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> her, her husband probably got all some videos at home. You know right. That's funny too, because now I was on his job. She went. Oh, this is yeah. Oh, when that time comes, them women cops, they get them boys. Yes, they be looking good in the tight ass pants. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Yeah, but we talking about Israel is famous for falling after the ways of the Canaanites. Uh, being engaged in witchcraft, cannibalism, sacrificing their children, doing all kind of wicked shit. That's why these women in America don't think twice to have an abortion. They know that's murder. You know what I'm saying? You have a doctor sticking shit up in your pussy, chopping the baby up into pieces. And that, that shit just shreds their inside. Yeah, it shreds them up. They pulling little arms out, pulling feet out. Hey, bro. You know what they, you know how they, um, Soothe the woman's conscience. They tell them this a lot. They tell them a lot of shit. But one of the things they tell them, the baby has some spirit, to have some life. It's not a human. Yeah. Yes, now, yeah. now check this out. Check this out. Let me show you something, man. This, these devils is crazy, man. They, he, what's I gonna get them, man? You still getting? You was getting something? Uh, I'll read. You can get that first, whatever. You want to read this while you get yeah, that? Don't, don't guess good, guess it's good. a Psalms 106. Yeah. And uh, man. Where should I go? Psalms 106 and 33. Because they provoked his spirit that he spake unadvisedly with his lips. They did not destroy the nations concerning them whom the Lord commanded them. We supposed to destroy the Canaanites, but a lot of Israel didn't obey the Lord. They wanted to follow the ways of the Canaanites. But were mingled among the heathen and learned their works. So Israel's famous for learning the works of the heathen, following other gods. That's why you got a lot of people calling themselves Egyptians now, talking about Hotep, 
They worship Osiris, of course. Mike, they talk about the principles of my yacht. You know what I mean? And they serve their idols. Like Horus is an idol, you know what I mean? Uh, Isis, that's an idol. Buddha's an idol, you know what I mean? See that little cross that uh, Caesar Bozier cross they wear around their neck? That's an idol. That's right. Says, yea, they sacrifice their sons and their daughters unto devils and shed innocent blood, even the blood of their sons and their daughters, whom they sacrifice unto the idols of Canaan, and the land was polluted with blood. Mm -hmm. Thus they were defiled with their own works and went a whoring mm -hmm. with their own inventions. Mm -hmm. Therefore was the wrath of the Lord kindled against his people insomuch that he abhorred his own inheritance. And he gave them into the hand of the heathen and, and they that hated them ruled over them. Their enemies also oppressed them and they were brought in to subjection under their hand. Like yeah, that's America to the T. So that's the whole reason that we in the position that we're in. Because we didn't obey the commandments of the Lord. We went a whoring, following the ways of the other nations. You know what I'm saying? Okay, uh, uh, you know what? Uh, those abortions is actually uh, that's, that's why. Right. Actually, that's all of them. Well, a, oh, so, it's all of them. Because okay. a doctor, this is a fact, the doctor that performs the abortion, chances are he took the Hermocratic oath. Hippocratic. Or Hippocratic, what did I say, Hermocratic? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, stomach but stomach. he worship Hermes too, yo. He worship because the, the oath starts up. The doctors take an oath to Apollo, Asclepius, and all the gods. Mm. All the Greek <laughs> false gods. To become a doctor, you got to take an oath to Apollo. That's a fact. That's why all these college kids, they go to these schools to become doctors and lawyers. They become parts of Greek fraternities. And it, uh, to be a part of a Greek fraternity, you gotta worship Zeus and Apollo. Then you gotta play with someone's balls and engage in homosexuality. That's a fact. Let me, let me get this with that Israel following all these other nations. That's what Israel uh, best known for. <laughs> you know, uh, when the, uh, Israel found the other day in Israel. I seen that the shrine to the moon god. Thank you. Bro. That's the who, moon. The who, moon god. Uh, who was that? Who was doing it? Probably the Edomites. Had to be Israel. That's right. That's right. Because Israel, Israel worshipped the the heathens gods more than they worshipped the real god. What the kid called it? Sin. What was the name of it? Sin. It was sin. Yeah, which is also known as Nana. Nana, there you go. That's yeah, it. Nana. Yeah, that's one too. Nana's the, Nana. That's the name of the Babylonian moon god. Nana, yeah. 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 That's crazy, man. This how is, you know uh, Israel know about all this shit? Because these motherfucking devils is reading the Bible, man. That's how they know how to dig all this shit up and where to go. Well, the Bible gives you the map. That's, that's right. That's right. There you go. First Samuel 8. 1 Samuel 8 and 4. Then all the elders of Israel gathered themselves together and came to Samuel unto Ramon and said unto him, Behold, thou art old, and thy sons walk not in thy ways. Now make us a king to judge us like all the nations. So yeah, Israel originally didn't have a king. Originally, the king was the most high. That was the king. Keep going. Yeah, that's a good point right there, because they they want to emulate the other nations. But the, but the thing displeased Samuel when they said, "Give us a king to judge us." Because they, they, they pissed Samuel off. And Samuel prayed unto the Lord, and the Lord said unto Samuel, "Hearken unto the voice of the people, and all that they say unto thee, for they have not rejected thee, but they have rejected me." So, yeah, because the Israel rejected the Most High. Well, two thirds of Israel rejected. Not all. Not all of Israel rejected the Most High. Two thirds. That's a special number. That's a number. Uh, that's a number that's going to be destroyed. Two thirds of Israel going to be destroyed. This is that. Um, what I was telling you about that Luke one and um, forty one. You know how they sue these women's hearts when they go to open their legs and get them a portion, get their baby chopped up. Yep. All the babies don't have the spirit, it doesn't have the spirit, it's not human yet, you know. 
you know, um, this is one in 39. And Mary arose from those days and went into the hill. I'm gonna let this pass first. and went into the hill country with haste into a city of Judah and entered into the house of Zacharias and saluted Elizabeth. And it came to pass that when Elizabeth heard the solution, the salutation of Mary, the babe leaped in her womb. And Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit and she spake out with a loud voice and said, Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. And whence is this to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For lo, as soon as the voice of thy salutation sounded in my ears, the babe leaped in my womb for joy. You know what I mean? So, what, what third of um, Israel will be saved? What, what, two Wait. thirds of Israel is going to be destroyed. Yeah. Is it like the 12 tribes, two thirds of them? Is it like of the, of the 12 Yeah, the tribes? there's 12 tribes of Israel. Israel means 12 tribes. Yeah, so which, which eight are going to die? No. The scatter. Two, 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 two thirds of each tribe. Total two thirds of all of Israel is going to be destroyed. Okay. But you don't know which tribe specifically? All of there's, there's yeah, people there's, scattered amongst all the 12 tribes that are going to die when the Lord gets here. It's right, wicked. Wait, so are you saying like, because I know the 12,000 out of 12 tribes will be taken to heaven. So those, those, those are just the men. Those are just the elect of the elect. Right. The 144,000 that yeah, are going to get That's a very small.